In this video, we will learn how to reverse a linked list. Reversing a linked list means we need to make the end of the linked list as the head or the starting point with all the nodes pointing backwards. That is, if we take an example of a linked list with nodes 1, 2 and 3, with node 1 being the starting point, the reverse of this linked list would look something like this, with the head pointer pointing to 3 which is now the starting point of our linked list and the node 3 pointing to node 2, the node 2 in turn pointing to node 1 and node 1 being the end of our reverse linked list pointing to null. Now let's understand how actually we will reverse the linked list by taking an example. Let's say this is the linked list given to us and we have to reverse this linked list. For reversing a linked list, we at least need three pointers to keep track of the previous node, the current node and the next node. Let's say we take the pointers P, C and N which denote the previous, current and next node respectively. Now for the first node which is containing value 1, there is no previous node thus pointer P will point to null and the current pointer will point to the node containing value 1. Now we need to point the next pointer that is N to the next node of our current node which is 2 as our current node is 1. Thus we write N equal to the link part of the current node which will in turn point the pointer n to 2. Now as we have all our pointers in place we will start with our reverse operation for the first node that is we need to point the first node to the previous node which is null. We can do this simply by writing the link part of c equal to p. This will make our node containing value 1 point to the node pointed by the previous pointer which is null for the first node thus 1 is now pointing to null. Now as we have successfully reversed the first node we will increment our previous pointer to the first node by simply writing p equal to c thus p is now pointing to 1. The next step would be to increment the current pointer to the node containing value 2. We can do this simply by equating c equal to n Thus now our current pointer is pointing to the node containing value 2. Now again we need to increment our next pointer. So we will repeat step 1 that is n equal to the link part of the current pointer. This will move our next pointer to the node containing value 3. Now we can repeat step 2, 3 and 4 to successfully point the node containing value 2 to its previous node that is the node containing value 1. So we make the link part of C equal to P and we increment our previous pointer and then we increment our current pointer by equating it to N and finally we again perform step 1 to increment N to the next node. Now let's repeat the process for node 3 and 4. For node 3 we make the link part equal to P then we increment P and we increment C to point to the node containing value 4. Finally, we increment the next pointer which now reaches null. Now for node 4, we again repeat the process. We make the link part of C equal to P. Then we increment P. And now one thing to notice here is when we will increment C, it will reach null which means that there are no further elements in our linked list. And we can take this as the exit condition that is when C is equal to null, we will stop the process. So we can simply write repeat step 1, 2, 3 and 4 until C is not equal to null. Now the only thing left here is pointing the head pointer to the node containing value 4 as this will be the new starting point of our linked list. We can do this simply by equating head equal to P which will point the head pointer to the node containing value 4 and this is now the starting of our linked list. Therefore, we have successfully reversed our linked list. Now let's implement this using C++. This is the basic structure of our node. Then we start our reverse list function and we declare three pointers P, C and N which correspond to the previous current and next pointers. Then we make the previous pointer equal to null and the current pointer equal to head that is it is pointing to the first element in our linked list. Next we start our while loop with the condition that c is not equal to null that is our loop will run until c is not equal to null. Remember that our exit condition was when our current pointer was pointing to null there were no more nodes in our linked list which had to be reversed. 
Then we equate the next pointer to the link part of our current node. Next we point the link part of our current node to the previous node and then we increment the previous pointer by one position by equating it to the current pointer and finally we increment the current pointer by equating it to the next pointer. Now the last thing that we need to do is equating head equal to p which will point the head pointer to the last element of our linked list which will be the first element of our reverse linked list. And we are done with our function. I have linked the code in the description. Thank you for watching.